Hey everybody, welcome back to the blog. Paul here. We're going to talk about fretting a guitar. Now, this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than some of the others because it's a complicated art form. That we would do a video on this was the request of our art director, Mark Quigley, who's holding the camera. Let me show you. Smile, Mark. I did that nice and smooth. That, that was pretty good, right? It was very smooth. Was very smooth. That's good. Um, and Mark had requested that we do something on the fretting of the instruments. So I think it's really important uh, that we go slow here because the understanding is um, important. So this is a neck that's ready to be fretted. All right. If you look very carefully at the end, you can see that there's a 10-inch radius on the fretboard. That means that a circle that's 20 inches in diameter has a 10-inch radius. That's the curve of the circle. And if you look very carefully, um, this thing's been sanded to uh, 400 grit. The inlays don't have any scratches in them. It's just beautiful, ready to go. And the other thing is the neck is dead straight. Now, I don't know if you can, I'm not going to put a ruler on it, but you should be able to see this thing is dead on straight in a relaxed position, which means the truss rod's not pushing the neck one way or the other. It's in the central position, and the thing is uh, dead flat. Now, if you put a ruler across this way or this way, it'll rock because it's going over the hump of the neck. So when I say dead straight, it's when the ruler is parallel to the center line of the neck. All right. So now it's ready to be fretted, and we take fret wire that we have made. Um, and what's interesting about fret wire is it's made by the same people that make uh, glasses rims uh, in some cases because you know, it's almost the same kind of shape, a drawn metal material. And they say it's made out of nickel silver. There's no silver in it. It's, 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 it's a lot of nickel, which is a very hard, hard material. Now, fret wire comes in different hardnesses. We buy it as hard as they're willing to make it because we don't want the guitars to be refretted. Um, refretting instruments, in my opinion, shouldn't happen unless somebody just plays the guitar to death over a 10 or 15, 20 year period. And how hard that fret wire is makes a big difference. If it's soft fret wire, I've literally seen somebody vibrato a note and the metal bits are falling on the floor. In my opinion, that's not okay. It's harder to fret a guitar with hard fret wire because it doesn't bend. It literally doesn't bend, so you've got to get it curved exactly to the curvature of the fretboard so that when you push it in, you don't have to bend it one way or the other. So it comes pre-radius, all, all ready to go. And then we press in each fret wire so that the bottom of the fret wire is flush with the fretboard. And then something very interesting happens. Can you see that there's super glue in each one of the holes all the way across here and all the way across here? We leave a little teeny gap under the fret and we flood super glue from both sides in. The reason we do that is when you play the guitar and you sweat on the guitar and you play it, you don't want those frets to move. You've got to glue the frets in. I can tell you a lot of other companies don't do it. And I think it's really, really important to glue the fret wire in. There's some teeth on the fret wire, and you want the glue to make a mold around those teeth so the fret doesn't move up and down. A lot of companies in the 50s used to glue their frets in. It was a very, very common thing. As a matter of fact, they used to see, use something on some instruments called fish glue. as a, a version of like uh, hide glue. Hide glue is when you send the horse to the glue factory. I mean, that's an old saying, right? They used to actually use some of the oils from fish to make a glue. I used it once because, you know, <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> it stunk like fish. I didn't want anything to do with it. So we use super glue. Now the thing that's nice about super glue is it doesn't have any water in it. We just spent all this time getting the water out of the wood. I don't want to put it back in. So um, we use a non-water glue and it makes a beautiful mold around the frets. If I crack this thing open, the, the fret would be completely molded the teeth into the wood all the way across from one end to the other. All right, so then the next thing is we're going to have to get this, these, the glue and the, the frets level with the side of the fretboard on both sides and put um, our uh, 
special angle that we stick on the fret wire and then you've got to make sure that all the frets are dead level with each other just like the fretboard was and it's really important otherwise if this fret is low what will happen is that you'll play this note it'll sound good you play this note it'll sound good and you play this note it'll buzz and that's not okay the frets have to be level within a thickness of a third of a piece of paper I mean it's, they've got to be level you don't want this fret to be a piece of paper lower than these two. It's just not cool. What's all done, without seeing all the effort that went in, what should happen is you should play a guitar and go instantly, oh, that's effortless, hmm, doesn't buzz, plays good, sounds good, chords all ring, no problems, plays just as well here as here. I mean, it should just do its job. If we've done our job, you don't notice a problem. If we've not done our job, you'll notice a problem. That's kind of the deal with our fret wire. We have it special made. It's at the top of the hardness that the, 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 the company's willing to make it. We've spent a lot of time getting the wood dry. We've got um, the neck in a relaxed position when it's leveled. It's got a 10 inch radius on it. Um, we press the fret wire in, we glue it in. Uh, we cut it continuous with the sides of the neck and then we put the angle on it and when the guitar is done we level the frets. In the end you should have a stable instrument, something where the fret wire is not moving and you don't have to take it to the repairman every year and a half to have it re-leveled. It should work for a long period of time. I just came from a trade show not one person who came up to me talking about their guitar said they needed to get the frets dressed, which was a common statement when I was in the repair business a long time ago. So there you go. Mark, I hope that's what you wanted. That was great. All right, good.